Do looks matter to women? The answer is yes. Attraction is just as important to the ladies as it is to us men. I know some of you are going to be offended when you hear that because you have been plugged into red pill modern dating advice from pickup artists or insecure men who chase after women that don't want them back, which is why they have to resort to fame, money or status. And ultimately, the only type of woman who goes for that are the gold diggers or immoral women. Whereas normal, healthy, traditional moral women only want a man they're attracted to who they share the same things in common with so they can actually build a lifelong commitment with. That's all that matters. It's very simple, but today I'm going to dive deep because some of you do not understand this. And the other day I had a young guy, subscriber, ask me a few questions about attraction. He seemed very confused by it. And I told him I'd make a video about it to not only clear up the things he's confused about, but to educate anybody else who has the same problems. So let's get right into it. You need to understand how attraction works. When it comes to physical attraction, this happens instantly between a man and woman. It's impulsive, superficial, and based on appearance. Now, while physical attraction can spark the desire for a man and woman to court each other and get to know each other, it doesn't necessarily lead to a lasting relationship. Because if you meet a woman and you think she's beautiful, and then next thing you know, you find out she's messed up or she's toxic, you instantly are going to lose desire to be near her. And it's the same thing for women. Not to mention if you guys are incompatible or you keep saying and doing things that turn her off or push her away, then you also destroy any possibility of growing closer together. When it comes to attraction and understanding the opposite sex, most men are clueless. There is plenty of information out there that leads men on and gives them false hope by teaching them that you can get any girl or that there is some type of secret formula to make any woman feel attracted to you. And that's simply not true. Let me ask you a question. Do you find every woman on the planet beautiful? Of course not. You have a type, as does everyone. And this is the same thing for the ladies. Is she going to look at every man in the world and think they're all handsome? Of course not. No amount of material possessions, wealth or social status will make a woman feel attraction for you. Only gold diggers and women with low self-esteem will look and fall for those superficial qualities. Whereas a woman with integrity and a healthy understanding of marriage and interpersonal relationships will only want a man she finds attractive. Your looks get you in the door, but who you are on the inside is what keeps you there. But physical desire is a precursor to build a connection. Before you even approach a woman, you need to understand that from the very first time she looks at you, she will have already made her mind up in the first five seconds of eyeing you up and down if she finds you handsome or not. Attraction is not a choice. If she finds you physically attractive, then she will be open to the possibility of you approaching her. On the other hand, if she doesn't find you handsome and you go ahead and approach her, then she will reject you. Physical desire is not a choice. Either she finds you attractive or not. Therefore, attraction doesn't come out of thin air. It can be raised once she gets to know you. So let's say you meet a girl and she thinks you're a nine. As the months go on, as long as you're compatible, you do everything right as a man, you court her properly, you lead her, you make her feel safe and protected by you. Then by being around your presence, she builds up an emotional attachment. Now it's when emotional attraction comes in. Now she actually likes you more for who you are as a person. But it will just increase the fact that you're already a handsome man. So she thinks, wow, I've got a guy who looks good and he's actually a masculine man. For her, it's a win-win. So if, you're, if you are not her type, there is, it was only, her interest level is only going to climb so far. Because it, it's going to get to a point where she will realise he doesn't have it. I'm just not passionate about him. You know, God created beauty for a reason. We are meant to find our future spouse attractive. You're meant to desire them physically. 
You're meant to want and crave each other. That's normal. And if a woman doesn't find you attractive from the beginning and she forces herself to get to know you, this is how you will be in one of these relationships where you're with your girlfriend for five years and she never brings up, when are we getting married? But she stays with you because she's got low self-esteem and it's better than being alone. This is why I always say, I mentioned it in my book as well, go for a woman who you think is drop-dead gorgeous and who feels the same way about you. If from the get-go she doesn't show you that, you're wasting your time and it will collapse later on. You can't, same thing as a man, you can't force yourself to like a girl who you don't desire, even if she's feminine. If I put two women in front of you, on the left we have a girl who is a zero in looks, but is feminine, she's godly, she's traditional, everything you want in a woman, but she's just a zero in looks. Versus the girl on the right, she's a 10 out of 10 in looks, with the same qualities I just mentioned. Who are you choosing? Exactly. It's non-negotiable. And it's no different for women. If they come across a man who is a two in looks, but he's traditional, he's masculine, it's only going to go so far. Versus if she sees a guy who's a 10 out of 10, who has those qualities, he's masculine, he's traditional, he's modest, he's a righteous man, who's she going to pick? Exactly. And if that offends you, you can take it up with the big man upstairs. I'm just telling you the way things are. The Bible says in Proverbs 9 verse 8, Reprove not a scorner lest he hates you, but rebuke a wise man and he will love you. Rebuke means to, to punish, to teach, to correct, to instruct. And I'm teaching you how things work in the real world. And if you're a wise man, you will love me for it. You will appreciate it you will take that information in and apply it to your life. But if you are someone who's scornful, you're bitter, you're prideful, and I tell you these things, you're going to hate me for it. You're going to get angry and upset because it's not what you want to hear. What I'm saying now is facts, not feelings. So I want you to understand that's how attraction works. If the attraction isn't there to begin with, Nothing can develop to the point where it will be passionate. Even if you have things in common, you'll just have a buddy-buddy, friendly vibe. And you're going to be the one who's going to want to be intimate, and she's not going to be for it, because she just doesn't desire you. Even if you're six months into a relationship, she may develop some form of emotional attraction for you, simply because you've been together in close proximity for enough time, that desire is not there. That raw sexual attraction will never be present. You can only raise a woman's interest in you if there is physical attraction to begin with. Let it breathe. I want you to understand that attraction cannot be forced. It doesn't matter how confident you are or how awesome you think you are. If you do not meet her minimum looks requirements, she will not feel attraction for you at all. And the only type of woman who will give you a chance is going to be a girl who's very insecure, has low self-esteem, and she's just lowering her standards. Do you want that? Do you want your future wife to be a woman that doesn't look at you and think you're the most handsome man? Of course not. Same thing for you. When you get your future spouse, you want her to be a woman you find beautiful. Both of you should feel that mutually. You see where I'm going with this. Attraction matters. When it comes to a relationship and marriage, there's two components. Chemistry, which is physical desire. And then there's compatibility, which is the alignment of values, belief system, outlook on life, religious, political views, lifestyle. When you have those two ingredients, you can bake the cake. But if you miss one, it's not going to come out the way it should. So another thing I want to touch on is why genuine desire cannot be negotiated. Unfortunately, many men believe this Disney fantasy that you can get any woman. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there are plenty of pickup artists, you know, red pill coaches and other modern men that deceive innocent, insecure guys to believe that they can get any woman so long as they force themselves into her life. They think, if I try hard enough, chase her, shower her with affection and gifts, then all of a sudden she will feel the same way back. Not only is this the biggest lie sold to men, it also has the opposite effect on desire. The very idea that you can barter 
or negotiate desire in of itself comes from a lack of understanding of women, attraction and relationships. Just take a look around you. Whether you have done this or you know someone who has, we've all seen the typical guy get friend zoned. This happens because he assumes that if he goes the platonic route, she will see his worth and start to feel the same way about him than he does about her. But what he fails to understand is that if she had genuine romantic desire in dating him, she would have never have been his friend in the first place. There's a lot of wealthy and successful men that lack comprehension of women and they also make this mistake of not only going the platonic route but trying to use expensive trips using their influence, social status, their wealth, their fame and any other tool at their disposal in attempts to convince uninterested women to go out with them. What is key there, it is uninterested women. Because when she finds you handsome, she wants to go on a date with you. She's going to give you her phone number. She's going to be consistent in responding and reaching out to you. She wants to get to know you because she, she thinks you're good looking. She wants to see, is he husband material? Where is he going to lead? Because there's attraction, there's that spark to ignite the beginning of the journey together. And either you grow together or grow apart. And if along the way, she comes to find that you're not a good match for her, if she has self-respect, she will walk away. And even if that happens, it's a win-win. You shouldn't let that bother you. She's not wasting your time. She's not settling for you or using you or leading you on. You can close that door and continue on with your life and make way for a woman who is interested in you to walk in. You have to change your outlook on these things. We see a lot of bitter men today and they're so angry towards women that don't want them back. Why are you wasting your time worrying about a woman who doesn't feel the same way about you? In fact, you should lose interest the moment you realize that she doesn't like you back. It's that simple. So either you meet her minimum looks requirements or you don't. So an intelligent woman knows when a guy is trying to use his fame, his wealth, show off what he has, talk about his accomplishments, what he has achieved. She knows that those grandiose gestures only communicate that he's compensating for what he feels that he lacks inside. So even if she finds you attractive to begin with and you try and show off and lead with what you have, a genuine woman will actually be turned off by this. The only woman that won't care is the superficial type, the gold diggers, the promiscuous women that are only out to take from you. They won't mind because they think, all right, this guy's stupid enough. He'll fall for it. But a normal, healthy, traditional woman, a sweet girl, a good woman, she sees that she knows exactly what's going on. That man is hiding behind the mask of even his looks or what he has achieved. She knows he's insecure. So she will disqualify you. So pay attention to that because women are intuitive. They know. They have a built-in alarm clock to filter out weak and secure men. So, understand this very simple piece of wisdom. You can't buy love. I repeat, you can't buy love. The only woman that will date a man who makes sad attempts to win her over or buy her affection is an immoral woman. The only type of man interested in forcing a woman to like him back is a man who has no self-respect. A masculine man knows his worth. He doesn't waste time in the friend zone or trying to sell a woman different reasons why she should go on a date with him. He only goes where there is mutual attraction, effort and reciprocation. Women make it abundantly clear whether they desire you or not. Look at her actions. You can't talk your way into making her like you. It's either going to be present from the very beginning or not. Do not be fooled or tricked. Nothing else works. That is reality. And for those of you listening, thinking, well, is there anything I can do naturally to make myself look better? Absolutely. Number one, get in amazing shape. When you see transformation pictures of men who are obese, and then they get back to a healthy body weight, their entire face changes. Their body, their androgen receptors, their upper back, their shoulders, their chest. When you look chiseled as a man, You can go from like a five to an eight. 
when you clear up your skin by changing your diet, your health is going to improve. You're going to look more attractive. Get a decent haircut that fits you, fits your shape face. You'll look amazing. Dress well, stand tall, groom yourself, take proper care of your hygiene. Those basic things physically will increase your look somewhat. Other than that, you have to accept the cards that you were dealt with. Maybe you're 5'6", maybe you're 6'5". Maybe you have brown eyes, blue eyes, green eyes, whatever. you got a bigger nose, you have a smaller nose. Whatever happens to be. Some things you can't change, you're going to have to accept. But what you can change is your physique. If you're super skinny, you can bulk, exercise, strength train, and get in, put some muscle on and get that V-taper. Have a, a healthy body. Clear up your skin. Smile more, right? Groom yourself. Dress well. It will make you look a little bit better. And other than that, you just have to play the cards that you were born with. And the women that find you attractive when they look at you, they will show you that. They will give you the signals, the indicators, which I mentioned in a previous video, which I'll link down below. It's that simple. And the ones that don't like you won't look your way. You won't have a chance with. And it's the same thing for the women who try with you. If a girl talks to you or you interact with her and you don't think she's beautiful, she has a zero chance of getting to know you. Whereas if you think she's beautiful, then you're curious to see what she's all about. And that's just the way it is. And I want to conclude on a few stories here about attraction. You know, going back to when I was a kid, I asked my mother, how did you and dad meet? And she told me she approached him. She approached my father. Why? I asked her. She said, I walked up to your dad because he was really handsome and he was sitting there. They, were, they met at some like party or something. And she said, she said, I saw him sitting there and I thought, wow, that guy's good looking. I need to go up and talk to him. And she went and asked him, can I buy you a drink? And the rest is history. And my parents got married, right? So why did my mum approach him? She didn't know how much money he made or if he was famous or anything like that. She looked to him and thought, he's handsome. I'm going to take a chance. Very few women will approach men, some that are confident do. That's always been the case for me as well. I guess me and my father have that in common. So one experience I'll share from me, which I won't forget, where I learned a lot from. My last year at school, back when I was a teenager, I was 18. And there was a new girl came to school. This beautiful Belgian girl, blonde, blue eyes, tall, very pretty. The moment I saw her, I could tell she liked me because of the stare she was giving me. But at the time, I was so focused on my studies that I wasn't interested in talking to anyone. I just was going monk mode. I was focusing on me. So I brushed it aside. Anyways, that girl was the talking point for all of the guys. They all wanted to date her, but she didn't like them. She only wanted to date me. A couple of weeks later, somebody had given her my phone number and she texted me. Hi, Christian. Listen, I'm too shy to approach you. Just want to say I think you're the most handsome guy at school. And would you be interested in getting to know me? I've, I've been told you're single. What I did was I actually friendzoned her for three months because I wasn't interested. I told her that's really sweet, but I need to pass my exams. I don't particularly want to date anyone. But she kept trying. This is the point I'm making. When they like you, they make it very easy for you. She kept trying and trying. And because she was so sweet, eventually I thought, you know what? I guess I'll go on a date with her. And I did. We went out for a few months, a few dinner dates. We, you know, we'd watch movies, whatever. We'd go out, have some fun. It was lovely, but it didn't work out because we weren't compatible. We had different values. And we figured it out by talking and interacting with each other. And we, we ended it. We parted ways. And that was it. But she was a very beautiful woman. And all the guys came up to me at school. were like, bro, how did you do it? I didn't do anything. I was 18 years old. What fame? What status do I have? What money do I have? Zero. I was a teenager. She liked me because she found me attractive. And that is the point I'm making. If they like you, they like you. And I'm not going to get into all the experiences I've had. Yes, I've had different situations where women have approached me. Women have been very favorable. They've said very nice things to me because they've liked me. Does that mean every woman in the world thinks I'm attractive? Of course not. Some have and some won't. And that's the same thing for you listening. And you just need to accept that. For any of you who have grown up with sisters, you know exactly what I'm talking about. What do, what do they talk about? They look at those um, 
boy bands with all of the guys they find attractive or when they're watching a movie they see an actor they find handsome they say very lustful things about the guy because they think he's attractive girls don't sit there and go oh jessica look how much money he makes he'd make a good husband no they look at pictures and go he's hot he's hot he's not what do guys do bro look at that girl she's beautiful look at that girl she looks like a hippo it's sorry if that offends you that offends you that's just the way it is women care about Attraction too. And the sooner you accept that, the sooner you can get on with your life. I'm just the messenger and I'm telling you the way things are. And I'm going to conclude by giving you all some hope. Men, listen up. There are nearly 8 billion people in the world today. Over 50% of them are women. So out of the multitude of ladies in the world, there is going to be at least one of them who thinks you're handsome who you're compatible with, and it's mutual. It is that simple. There is someone out there for everyone. Even for the ladies listening, out of all the men in the world, there's going to be a guy out there who's an honest man, who you think is attractive, and he feels the same way. And that's just the way it is. But for you guys listening, don't worry about the girls that don't think you're handsome, or reject you, or turn you down. Let go of that. Focus on what you want, which is a girl who you think is beautiful, you have everything in common with, who feels the same way back. That's your end goal. That's what you look for. That's where you want to put your energy. That's it. Hope this video finds you well. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section. With that said, hope you all have a wonderful day. God bless all of you and your families.